Satin everybody, boy Big Brando, and today we're gonna be talking about women's t-shirts. Now it's a question that I've been getting a lot of on YouTube, and it's what's the best women t-shirts to use? What women's t-shirts do you keep in your stock? And what's the most popular women's t-shirt to use? Now to answer this question in short, I don't use women's t-shirts, I don't offer women's t-shirts, I don't sell any women's t-shirts. And I know personally, I might be leaving a lot of money on the table by not offering women's t-shirts. But when I have offered them, I either bought the wrong style of t-shirt, the wrong size of t-shirt, the wrong color of t-shirt. Now you gotta remember when you look at any wholesale website, any manufacturer's website, and you look up women's t-shirts, a lot of times there's a ton of options on there. You have regular crew necks, you have v-necks, u-necks, you have different cuts. Now there's tank tops, rib tank tops, racer backs, halter tops, crop tops, tube tops, and the list goes on. Top of that, there's different materials. Sizing is always gonna be different. And when you're dealing with female clientele, a lot of times females can wear anywhere from a size small, medium, or large. Or sometimes they wear extra large, large, or medium. Just depends on the shirt. And a lot of times females have to try something on first. And this is the biggest reason why I don't offer women's t-shirts now. Now I know I made this video in the past but there's a lot of people that don't go back and watch a lot of the older videos so they ask these questions in the comments and that's why I'm remaking it again. So if you've seen this video prior I apologize now because this is just recycled information but I do want to answer this question in whole because I've been getting a bunch of comments about it. So when it comes to women's t-shirts I stay away from it. Same goes for kids t-shirts. I only offer men's t-shirts. I only keep in stock men's sizes, size small to 3X. I know personally that I'm leaving a bunch of money on the table by not offering women's shirts and offering kids shirts. I know there's a lot of women customers out there, but it is not worth me stocking all of these different options to keep the female crowd happy. You see what I mean? Because in the past when I have offered t-shirts, I would use a basic crew neck t-shirt that was fitted for women. I would print on them, bring them to these shows and events to sell. Some people would buy them and a lot wouldn't because one, they didn't know the size. They pulled stuff up and they see if it fits themselves. And they're like, oh, you don't got this in a V-neck. Oh, you don't got this in a tank top. Oh, you don't got this in this color. I said, no, this is all I got right here. So then I go back and I take all the data that I got from that show and say, oh, you know what? A lot of people want tank tops. So let me buy some tank tops for the women. So the next show that I do, I print on a bunch of tank tops and bring them to the show. And the women at this show like the tank top, but then they don't like the cut of the tank top. They don't like the length of the tank top. And on top of that, print placement is really weird on female t-shirts also. So you gotta remember when a female wears a t-shirt, a lot of times it's gonna fit a little bit tighter than how a man would wear a t-shirt. So print placement is huge. As you have to remember, the chest size is gonna be a little bit bigger. It's gonna be stretched out. So depending on where you print on the shirt, sometimes it could be a little bit too high. Sometimes it could be too low. Sometimes it could be right in the middle but stretched out which makes the print look weird same goes for anything on the back if you print anything on the back a lot of women have long hair and their hair falls down low and covers up the design also so there's a lot of different variables there on why I don't use women's t-shirts or offer women's t-shirts it's not because I don't like women or it's not because I don't want to design anything for women it's just harder for me and my operation to stock a bunch of different t-shirts to keep the female audience happy you see what I mean so in order to stay away from that, I just don't offer it at all. And this also goes for kids t-shirts too. There's boys, girls, toddlers, there's different sizes for kids shirts also. So if you wanted to offer kid sizes, you would have to do small, medium, large, extra large, double X or whatever it is in toddler. And then you would have to go to youth size, which is like boys and girls sizes, which would have to be small, medium, large, extra large, double X before they move up to juniors and then it's small, medium, large, extra, you see what I mean? So when you say kids t-shirts, there's a lot of different size ranges for kids t-shirts and that's something I personally don't wanna keep on stock and take up space in my workshop. So I personally only offer men's t-shirts, size small to 3XL and that's it. If a woman wants to buy a t-shirt for me, she could fit a size small or medium, so be it, but I'm not gonna be offering any women's size t-shirts because there's too many options out there. Like I said, females have to try stuff on also so if you're vending out in public that was the issue I used to run into all the time and it was I'm selling women's t-shirts and they're holding it up against their body I'm like oh this might fit this might not fit and since they need to try it on to see if they want to actually buy it I would eventually just lose the sale because they don't know their sizing I don't know their sizing they don't want to buy something that might fit them it's easier for men if I'm selling extra large and you wear an extra large easy call you know what I mean sometimes there's a small size difference 
but that's why I use generic fitting t-shirts like the All Style 1701. That's what I'm wearing right now. This is a generic fitting t-shirt. If you wear an extra large, this extra large will fit you just right because chances are you have a bunch of All Style t-shirts in your closet already because so many other brands use the 1301 and 1701 already. For myself, it's all about just making the sale easier on me. So if selling women's t-shirts is hard for me, I stay away from it. If selling kids t-shirts is hard for me, I stay away from it also. Making things easier on myself is what it's all about. No offense to women, no offense to kids. I just can't stock every single size and every single offering that they have out there to keep everybody happy. I gotta pick and choose my own battles. All right, so if you're struggling with this same exact thing, I'm figuring out which women's shirt to use, just know it's a very difficult and slippery slope to be on. You might think and you might hear from certain women that you know crew necks are cool and then you might hear from another group of women that hate crew necks and only wear v-necks and then the ones that wear v-necks sometimes might like tank tops but then you run into the issue of is it a tank top and a racer back or is it a tank top that's ribbed is it a tank top that's form fitting or with spaghetti straps or whatever other options are out there so if you're looking for the best women's t-shirt to use I have no idea. All right, hopefully this video helped somebody out or cleared some things up for some people because I know there's a lot of people that have been hitting me up and wanting my designs on women's t-shirts and I tell them I don't offer that. There's a lot of people out there that were asking what women's t-shirts do I use or which women's t-shirts I recommend. And I have no answers for you on that because I personally don't use women's t-shirts, all right? So if you got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, BigBrandoTV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yeah.